Can you see that? Some little stinker of a child had a pen with so-called invisible ink and decided to leave a little message for posterity. You can only see it in certain lights. Right now happens to be one of those times. <laughs> oh my goodness. But then it also pointed out to me that I have yet to take down a Christmas decoration that had just become so much a part of the decor that I completely, completely just forgot about it. So time to change this out. See, now in a certain light. Oh, you can still see it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good thing I love them. Right, time to change this out. Happy Friday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. It is Friday, April 24th. It is the first day of the uh, 24 hours of cross stitch. So that's about to get started later this afternoon for me. I've got my projects all ready to go. I've got the coffee sorted. I have lots of coffee. I have lots of Diet Coke. I have, um, leftovers so no cooking i've got floss tube and movies and audiobooks all ready to go so i'm excited about that so because it's friday it is focus on a designer day and before we get into today's designer that i'd like to talk about um last week's designer was jan hicks and it was so nice to chat with her last week and uh and hear from all of you who know and love Jan and maybe also uh, found her for the first time and checked out her shop for the first time. Uh, we had a, an anonymous donor donate a $20 gift card credit to Jan's shop. So I used the random comment picker from uh, on the internet for YouTube and the winner is So congratulations, Sue. I know that uh, I know you will put that $20 to good use and enjoy it. So, so fun. And thank you again to the person who donated the, uh, the $20. That's really very kind. Okay, so today, before I tell you um, what I, before I show with you, show what I have to share with you today, I wanna be very clear right from the get-go that today I entirely blame everything that you're about to see on Letitia, the crafty curator. I know it full well that I am known as a little bit of an enabler and that many of you have been enabled to purchase patterns that you possibly didn't know about or hadn't seen before or we're all the same. We are all the same. And Letitia and I tend to have very similar tastes in many ways in our stitching and our life. And it's, it's one of the reasons why we're such great friends. Um, we're just kind of the same person in, in so many ways. And so sometimes Letitia will message me and it'll just be either a picture or a link or something like that <laughs> and she'll either just say you're welcome <laughs> or she'll say something like I've fallen down the rabbit hole and I'm dragging you with me and you know I'm gonna say 99 times out of a hundred I am right there with her uh, so today's designer that I have purchased a PDF this morning of a pattern that I have had a photo of on my phone in my um, you know saved photos I, I've had a photo of this chart for at least a couple of months and I I've held off because um, it was a little bit of a pricey PDF and so I wanted to wait until uh, you know 
you don't buy all of these things all at once, right? So anyways, I decided today was finally the day. Now, what's interesting about the chart that I have purchased is that in purchasing it, I am supporting a shop. So the designer that I've chosen to talk about and share today is Jan Hutman, who was, is, uh, I, I know he is Dutch. I'm just not sure whether or not he is still alive. Um, I believe, like I know, I, I, I can't find much about him on the internet other than that he's Dutch and that there's a book about him and 30 years of his designing. So I'm gonna make the assumption that he has passed away and that it was kind of maybe a posthumous collection of his work, but I would hate to be wrong about that and the poor man is still alive and still designing Though I, I'm just not sure. So I'm looking to all of my Dutch friends who might possibly know more about Jan and his designs. And uh, I'm very interested in the book that, that has been uh, published with his samplers. And he apparently had a sampler museum and there are photographs of it. I would love to see this book. So I might try to track down the book and see if it's not too expensive maybe I will uh, treat myself maybe for a birthday present this year because those are the kind of books that you keep forever right um, just like my Beth Russell tapestry book I just I love to look at it over and over and over again um, we do these things right okay so the shop that I found that is selling the PDFs of Jan's patterns is called Nald and Drad. And I'm going to I'm going to put a link to their Etsy shop in the drop-down box below. And I love the fact that per, by purchasing a PDF, I'm actually supporting a brick and mortar shop. So uh, in in the Netherlands which is so cool right now these patterns are a little bit pricey so let me show you let me show you what I bought because you know I think many of us are used to PDFs being anywhere from five dollars to twelve dollars right um, this one was uh, 20 euro okay which I think in Canadian dollars worked out to about thirty two dollars Canadian which seems quite expensive for a pattern right but look at it Oh my good gravy. Look at that pattern. Now I should be clear that it says that this pattern was designed by Jan Hootman and Mies Bloch. So um, collaboration here, I, I don't know who Mies is either, but I would love more information. So if anyone out there knows about about these designers and can give us more information I, I would just be so interested in that so the shop let me let me show you the name of the shop I'm gonna I'm gonna make it nice and big here so that you can see that's the name of the shop there and their Etsy address is uh, their Etsy name is the same as their shop but it's all together and so again i'll put a link to that in the drop down box below so i purchased this pdf this morning and when i talk about the cost one thing that you have to keep in mind is this pattern is 52 pages long the pattern is a book so i think that 32 dollars for a 52 page pattern is actually you know that's pretty good value that's for me, this is years and years of stitching enjoyment. So I'm I'm so pleased that I finally bought this. It again, like I said, it's been in my phone for months and you know I would scroll past it and I would say, oh, it's so beautiful. And I thought, no better excuse for Friday focus on a designer to treat myself and to share it all with you. So supporting a shop treating myself and who knows when I'm gonna start it but now at least it's in my hot little hands and maybe that dream is just a little bit closer isn't it beautiful oh my goodness and so they have 
they have, I think there are 13 different Jan Hootman charts on the Neld Andrade Etsy shop. And then there are, um, there are some other patterns as well by other, by a few other designers as well. Beautiful, beautiful patterns. But I love that this was, you know, an instant kind of PDF download that you could purchase and, you know, sort of Google over immediately. Instant gratification. This, uh, these alphabets are just, I mean, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. And that floral design in the middle. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Love it. Okay, so again, I am pleased. If you, if you know something about Jan, um, please leave me a comment below. I'm, I'm really quite interested to know, to learn more about him. Fascinating and beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <sighs> okay, so that's it. I am, uh, this afternoon before I can get to my stitching for the 24 hours of cross stitch, I have a little bit more, uh, sewing to do first. I'm working on something new that I shared a little sneak peek on Instagram a few days ago about uh, the idea and, and, and what I'm making. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be adding a new t collection to the shop and uh, I'll tell you more about it tomorrow and I'll, I'll show you a little bit of what I've been working on tomorrow. And then um, I, th I, think p I think you'll like it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Like, I, I, I'll sh I, I, I wanna show you now, but I'm not quite ready to show you now. And, and so I want you to, sometimes it's hard to see these things until they're done, right? In my head, they look great, but I want it to, I want it to look exactly how I see it. I've got one of a few done, and it's everything I'd hoped it would be. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll, I'll share more tomorrow, promise. Okay, uh, so that's it. So for 24 hours of cross stitch, I'm going to be working on uh, the Autumn's Fruitful Labor by Brenda Gervais. I'm going to be working on Savon, and I'm also, I would really, really, really like to work some more on the border of my Red House Sampler by uh, the sampler company, Brenda Keys, which is still on my floor frame, and I just, that Rocky Mountain Fabric by XJU Design combined with the color palette of the Red House Sampler. I just love it. And so I would really like to do some more work on those flowers that are in the bottom border. So we'll see. And that's it. That's it for me today. I'm off to dream about new patterns and different designers and all different kinds of fun things. So I hope you're well. Take care of yourself. Um, if you're joining in with the Friday off the grid party tonight, as well as the uh, 24 hours of cross stitch. Again, I'm going to leave all that information below uh, on the 24 hours of cross stitch. That's Jen Lee uh, here on YouTube. Her floss tube channel is Quirks and Stitches. It is her event with her mom, Cindy, and they do a wonderful job. It's, it's just a lot of fun. There's a great Facebook group that uh, people are really quite involved with and it's just a fun event, so looking forward to that. Okay, so that's it for me for today. Happy Friday, happy stitching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.